what is going on Taurus it is scorpion bread tarot back at it again see what's going on with you for the month of February yes indeed shout out to all of my Taurus that has booked personal private readings for um, with me and um, shout out to everyone who is giving uh, love and page donations to scorpion bread tarot as you can see we have several new decks here and I am recording on my camcorder now all thanks to your love and support so thank you so much to everyone who has given love and support to the page and as you know um again sorry for the late upload as you know um me and my family we all were sick with the flu so thank you also to everyone that's you know sent out well wishes and love to me and my family during the time when we were sick so thank you so much and i'm um, sorry again for the delay but let's get into this all right anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading go ahead into the about tab um there's a hyperlink that says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me again at scorpion reds tarot as simply book me and if you would like to give a page donation or a love offering if this video resonates um you can do so by clicking the paypal information in the description okay let's get to the prayer all right thank you so much father god for um, bringing us here for the sign of Taurus. Thank you so much for all of the love and the determination and the strength and the wisdom and the kindness and the generosity that you bestowed upon us. We thank you so much, Father God. Please give us guidance surrounding the sign of Taurus. Please let us be encouraged. Please let us be in faith. Please let us be in strength, dear Lord. If we ever get tired or in a place of need, um, please allow us to rest at your feet, Father God, and just know that we are working hard to um be the best that we can be and just walk forth in the path that you laid before us thank you so much father please give the sign of taurus guidance for the sign of uh taurus again for um february 2019 thank you so much please give us guidance for the sign of taurus thank you so much Please give us guidance for the sign of Taurus for the month of February. Please give us guidance for the sign of Taurus. Alright. Ooh. A lot of stuff in the reverse. But I've realized that the sign of Taurus is aware now. They are aware, and they're saying, uh-uh, no more injustice. No more injustice going on around here. No more injustice. I'm not feeling right. It's time to cut out certain shit. Yeah, you're not feeling right. You're not feeling like you're able to. Yeah. All right, so listen. All right, Taurus. So this is the thing. So I feel like Taurus is getting to a point where they're like taking back their power here. All right. This is the four of cups in reverse. So the sign of Taurus, they realized, you know, what was offered to them. They took the cup. They smelled it. I don't like the way that shit smell. I don't like the way that shit tastes. I'm pouring that shit out. I don't even want that shit. You know, and I feel like you're very much so aware of what's being offered to you. And you just like, man, that shit don't even, it don't impress me. It don't impress me. Like, I'm rejecting your offer. I'm rejecting your offer. It's not something that I want in my life anymore. And it's too much bullshit that come with you. There's too much bullshit that come with you. And you think that you're going to be able to go forth in life and continue to get away with the harm that you cause and the hurt that you cause and the anguish and the instability you know you 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 think that you're going to continue to you know offer me bullshit and i'm just going to take it with like a coke and a smile nah i'm good on that like i'm really really good on that for real for real like it's time for me to you know 
bring to light for you. All this unjustified behavior, you're not going to win anymore. You're not going to win anymore. Because at the end of the day, I got to create. I'm a mother. I'm a provider. I'm a nurturer. I'm a protector. I'm a builder. And you put me in a state where I feel like I'm not able to do what I'm supposed to do on my throne. You took pinnacles out of my kid's mouth. You took Money and, and, and resources where I could have been investing it into people and in a situation that really needed it. You took it for your selfish needs. You know, and you put me in a place where, like I said, I wasn't able to grow. I wasn't able to give my resources that was for me and my family and the people that I love and the true people that needed it. If you didn't want to be here and if you didn't value what I was offering you the same way I took this damn cup and I decided I ain't interested in that shit and I poured that shit out okay and refocused myself okay <laughs> you should have did that shit too like don't come and waste my time don't come and waste my time at all. And then you still not offering me anything of value. And whatever you offering me, you taking so fucking dead ass long to bring it to me. It feel like you not offering me nothing at all. Like I'm good on that. I'm good on that. Guess what? It's a burden that I dropped down. I'm not, I'm not willing to carry this burden with you anymore. It was fun while it lasted. Sometimes love is bittersweet. Let me tell you something, cause at the, no, mm mm, mm mm, I took too long to cut you out of my life. I took too long to cut this situation out of my life. It didn't provide me any value. It kept me in a place where I was not mentally clear, and I wasn't make making clear decisions, cause I wasn't able to see. I wasn't able to see. But now I'm rushing forward and I'm telling you with a vengeance. With a vengeance. And I don't care if you like how I'm coming off telling you. You're cut. This situation is done and it's done and it's done and it's gone. It's gone. Because I'm not going to be in a place where I'm not mentally clear no more. Not able to make decisions because I'm walking around carrying a burden. I decide to put that shit down. And nigga you cut and you're done. Fuck you. You ain't offer what you offering. What you offering, Slim? You ain't offering nothing. You not offering nothing. And you make me uncomfortable. You ain't doing nothing but raping me of my fucking assets. Get the fuck out of here. You not my kid. You not my kid. And I'm also letting y'all know if there's anybody going through a divorce right now, I'm letting you know who's on the receiving end of this divorce. This person is pouring out your offer. It is not being accepted in the court. It's not accepting this shit. You is not going to win. That person is not going to win. They don't want enough. You done got enough. That offer is straight up being poured the fuck out. You is not going to win in that alimony settlement at all. Okay? I feel like this person took too long to come to the table with a solid offer that made sense for the courts. That was not going to leave the woman in the situation in a place of, you know, financial disarray. And, and the judge said, oh, no. Oh, no. We reject that. Mm-mm. No. I don't know whatever it is that you're doing where you cannot financially get yourself together and it's a, a, a burden on you where you're not able to do what you need to do, but you need to drop that burden and you need to pick up what is of value with whatever you can carry because um, this divorce is, is final, okay? So you're not winning in this situation. This divorce is final. The situation is cut, okay? 
This is another bout of judgment not working in someone's favor. Your shit is cut, okay? And we're sending rapid fire communication to you. So, yeah, you will be um seeing, you know, paperwork in regards to this in the mail very very quickly. I feel like this is a very very rapid settlement in the divorce like this is fast communication coming real fast like yeah shit shit has got processed fast okay so whoever is on the receiving end of this okay you're going to get fast communication that um yeah the proceedings and whatever for this uh Settlement is coming very soon because people is not playing around. People is not being a fool no more. People are not playing around with you no fucking more. Do you understand? They don't have any faith in the situation. They don't have any faith to continue to play this game and waltz around and play this dumb, stupid ass dance because these, this person is uncomfortable right now. This person is uncomfortable right now. And they're not willing to do this dance with you no more. They're not willing to allow this injustice to continue to go on any further. They're not willing to deal with it, nor is the justice system. They're rejecting your offer. Do you understand? So, whatever you was looking for from Taurus, you might as well just go ahead and look somewhere else. Because, again, ending. Okay? That burden has been dropped. It's done. It's over with. You're cut. It's done. Okay? They can't find a way to communicate this shit no faster to you. They are not your fool no more. And quite frankly, you make them feel uncomfortable. They can't wait for you to get the fuck out of there. Out of their space. Out of their place where they don't ever have to fucking see the lights of you another motherfucking day. Ever in their goddamn life. I have never in my life seen someone say, you know what? <laughs> I don't even want that shit. Like dead ass. Like they don't want that shit. They do not want nothing to fuck to do with you. At all. Taurus said no ma'am. Taurus said no freaking ma'am. I am not interested. I don't want not a damn thing to do with you. Spirit, please give this sign of Taurus guidance and love. Thank you so much for February. Please give the sign of Taurus guidance for February. Thank you so much. Yeah, this offer, contemplation, karmic partner, they're like, you know, it's just like forgiveness. It's just like the only thing that they're really contemplating in regards to, yeah, it's a third party. So it's, it's just like, listen, listen, this is what Taurus is saying. This offer that you are offering to me. It's, it's bullshit. It's like, what is the point of me even contemplating this shit with you? You know, you still have this karmic partner lurking around in the background. But yet, you're coming to me offering for forgiveness with third party energy. What sense does that make? What sense does that make? I don't want, I just don't want nothing to do with it at all. Like, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's honestly ridiculous. It's honestly ridiculous. They're taking action. In removing this mask. In removing this mask. Because it's just like. You are fake. Like you are so fake right now. You are so fake right now. And you come into me with this bullshit ass offer. With a karmic third party energy all over you and you trying to wear this mask and you want me to take action with you like
you want me to just be completely stupid and it's like you want me to have patience have patience of what that you're going to change that you're going to change this person has been watching you Taurus this person has been watching you and they know that regardless of what like this situation with them it involves deception and that's why I feel like the only thing that they can do is offer you bullshit and just really sit back on on the sideline and just kind of watch you just grow and just prosper and just make this move for betterment only thing they can do is just sit back and observe and it's really nothing that it's nothing that they can do but sit back and watch you move you know what i'm saying because it's just like i gotta move forward i have to move forward i cannot be fooled by this deception and this person's mask trying to like cover who and mask who they are in my life this whole time and i've just been patient and i've been patient but you know what i've been observing this person is never going to change. This person is always going to be deceptive. This person is always going to lie to me. What am I waiting for? I am the person hiding this, you know, holding this mask. I am the person that is is covering up what's in front of my fucking eyes myself. I can't continue to be blinded by this bullshit. I got to release myself of this shit. I reject this offer. I reject this offer. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to continue to live here. Please give this sign of Taurus guidance. Please give this sign of Taurus one card. Please, thank you so much. Shallow grave. You miss someone. Yeah, I do feel like. Yes, you do miss someone. You most definitely do miss this person, and you're going to miss the person. But it's to teach you a lesson. It's honestly to teach you a lesson. Let's see. Wrong book. 29. Alright. It says shallow grave. This beautiful young woman is missing someone deeply. And she knows perhaps for the first time what it is to lose someone. Missing someone can be very hard. It feels like a physical ache. And our heart can indeed be broken because we humans have the capacity to connect like no others in the universe. We love and we love so deeply that love can continue even when the form we've loved is no longer with us. If you have received this card in the reading, it is time to acknowledge just how deeply you have yearned for someone's uh, return and how much that person's loss is affecting you this being could be a friend a pet you loved or a grandparent or parent who has left you and missing this is so strong it sometimes feels like a physical hurt there's a deep sadness here, and it cannot be eased by denying its presence. And once it is done, you can put what's missing to rest and visit it from time to time. But no, you have to be truthful with yourself, and your sadness will change and be a part of your life's beauty, not its pain. She speaks. It is time to let something go, but before you do, let's take a moment to acknowledge what this was to you. Know that this was meant. Knows what this meant. And that it means so much. And that by returning it to the past. Rather than yearning for it in the present. You are creating a future that has a greater freedom to it. There are opportunities for a fresh start. All the time. Every day in a sense. It gives you a clean slate. For you this is. Starting over is immensely important after you have grieved. You need to feel that something has been laid to rest and will no longer trespass onto the present. Life is kind of like that. 
so much of what happened isn't about what is actually happening, but being thankful that you will blossom and grow with a fresh relationship and love after mourning this lost one. The divination message, okay? Excuse me, you guys. It says, simultaneously holding on to the past, idolizing the past, refusing not to allow yourself to get over it. A breakup with a friend, a move on to a new town, a faded relationship, a parent who's divorced, or something that you convince yourself that you must have back in order to find happiness again. Mourning what that was and what you feel should have been very deeply saddens and yet this experience has been of great value but it's time to move on and to place all of that to rest working with this element of earth is most beneficial when this card and this fairy comes to visit you you may wish to plant a memory tree something earthly and growing that changes to correct to commemorate your love loss. As it grows and changes. You will be healed. The memories will be sweet and sad. Without bitterness and pain. The earth takes form. And changes them. And gives back to us. What we let go. But in new forms. And it's time for you to stop hanging on so sadly. To what has been lost and gone. Mourn and then come back to us. Ready to live again. All right, so it's time for you to, like, really let go and stop holding on to it. You already know that you are rejecting this offer, Taurus. This is not what you want. This situation makes you uncomfortable. It's time for you to release yourself from this situation, like, really, truly, and freely. And, you know... It's going to hurt. Like, I don't feel like any divorce or any breakup is ever easy. It's not. But you know that this is an offer that you're not willing to contemplate. This is not an offer that you feel like brings you true value. And you don't feel loved and you don't feel honored here. So, it's just time to move on. Alright. So, this is the Three of Cups. You know, it's time for you to really, like, celebrate and, you know, realize all that you have overcome and everything that you have accomplished during this time. I feel like this breakup and you realizing that, you know, you're not going to allow this behavior no more and this person getting the short end of the stick in this divorce, I honestly feel like... You just want to celebrate right now. I feel like you you know all of the secrets that there is to know. You know everything that there is to know. It's like I will no longer give charitably to this person. It's like you're standing over all of your investments and you are, you know, looking over it like very, very carefully. And it's like I'm not... In a position to charitably give to someone that is not going to give back to me in return. And you see this person looks down on this like investment like ha ha ha. Like you thought that you were going to get my money but you didn't get shit bitch. And like that's exactly like how this person feels. And I feel like this person feels triumphant. This person feels strong. This person feels mentally free and clear. And... I feel like they feel good about everything that's happened. I feel like they feel triumphant and they feel, you know, this is a single person. This is the um, King of Swords. This person feels free. I feel like they finally was able to, like, kind of boss up and use their, like, male dominance. If this is not a man in this energy, but, like, I feel like you was ready to, you was able to boss up on like some real G shit and just cut certain shit out and become mentally free and clear of a situation that I feel that kind of like kept you in a trick bag for a long time. And it's just like, I'm not being a fool anymore. And it's, I feel like you're happy that you finally rejected this offer. And this is the seven, this is the seven of cups here. This is the seven of cups. 
this this situation has kept you so confused and I feel like you've constantly on several occasions you've made the same bad decision after bad decision after bad decision after bad decision in this relationship with this person and I feel like this shit has legitimately drove you to the cuckoo house like it legit it legitimately drove you to the cuckoo house and you was just like I'm not willing to continue to use this pattern as an excuse anymore it's just like these cups are not good for me and i have to finally make a good decision and this is the um the queen of wands in reverse this situation has put you in a place where you feel like an absolute bitch like your passions are not being able to be used in the correct way. And I feel like you've been snarky. You've been nasty verbally. I feel like you've even got to the point where you even cheated in a situation, Taurus. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this situation literally, like, literally drove you to the point where... You weren't making the best decisions in your life. And it took you to a low vibration. And that's when you realized, you know what, when I start, when I start mirroring your energy, it's time to go. Like, it's time to go. I don't want to be here anymore. Like, I legitimately do not want to be here anymore. This place doesn't hold any sense of value to me. And this is the tower. You know, an abrupt ending happened. Something clicked in Taurus where it was just like, it's time for me to go. Because if I don't get up and leave right now, God is going to, God is legitimately going to come and shake and bake this whole foundation. And... I don't feel like there's nothing inside of here anyway worth fighting for. I truly don't. It's time for me to get the fuck up and leave. Like, it really is time for me to leave. And turn my back on everything that was the past. And I thank God for showing me what I needed to see. So that I can, like, you see the Sphinxes, like, they're... They're getting out of Dodge. Like, they're getting out of Dodge. And it's like, I, I, ha I had to I had to get away so I could focus on myself and really rebuild myself anew. Because at the end of the day, I know that a true king will come to me. Someone that is really, really passionate. is someone who is not going to knock me off of my... Someone is not going to knock me off of my shit. Someone is always going to protect me. Someone is always going to lead me. Someone is always going to provide me and be what I need them to be. I don't want to I don't want to continue to hold myself back anymore. You know, holding on to memories from something in the past. It's just time to go. It's just really time to go and it's time to separate and it's time to end this situation. And I feel like Taurus is going to have the victory in this situation. I feel like the person that Taurus was with, they thought that they were going to get away. And maybe was talking shit to Taurus like, oh, you're not going to get shit. I'm not going to give you shit. And, you know, was bringing up um, Taurus's infidelity in the marriage and everything like that. And thought bringing it that shit up that it was going to help them in their debate and in their argument in this divorce and it actually didn't it only thing it really did to show you how much is a piece of his shit you is because it's like after everything that you've done after all that you've created in this situation you have the audacity to bring up somebody else's trans transgressions as if it's something more better than what you did something something worse than what you've done after all that you've done judge was like oh no Tuh. I pour out that offer I don't even want to listen to that bullshit 
<laughs> you will not get away with this shit in my court. Dismissed. Y'all get the fuck out of here. Okay? So, I love y'all. If this video resonated and um, if you want to book a personal or private reading, go ahead and click that about tab. There's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, that's Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. If this video resonated and, um, you know, you winning this alimony. And this motherfucker can kiss your ass. And you wanna <laughs> you wanna drop like two or three dollars in the PayPal. Go ahead, the description button. What the heck was that? Click the description button. Click the description. I can't even talk. Okay, it's time for me to go. I love y'all. Peace. <laughs>